Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be exploring about genomics and how bioinformatics is playing significant role in genomic studies. We will also try to see what are the skills that is required to enter genomic sector and what are the high salary job prospects available in the genomic sector. So let's get started. As you know, bioinformatics plays a crucial role in genomic studies, aiding in the analysis, interpretation and management of large-scale biological data. It has become integral in understanding the complex biological system and has contributed significantly to the advancement in the medicine, biotech and agriculture, biopharma, health sector, etc. Let's try to understand what is the importance of bioinformatics in genomic studies and what is the importance of genomic? Bioinformatics enables the management and analysis of vast genomic data, leading to a better understanding of genetic variation, disease mechanism, and evolutionary relationship. For instance, in cancer genomics, bioinformatics tools are used to identify genetic mutations associated with specific type of cancer. Researcher can then use these information to develop targeted therapy which are tailored to the individual patient need and thereby improving the treatment outcome. Genomics has significant importance in the various sectors. Genomics is essential for understanding the structure, function and evolution of genome. It helps in identifying disease causing genetic variation, developing personalized medicine and also improving crop yield through the identification of beneficial or harmful traits. An example is the Human Genome Project which provided insight into the genetic basis of various diseases leading to the development of new diagnostic tools and therapy. So if you talk about the infectious diseases, bioinformatics enables the identification of genetic variations in pathogens, aiding in the development of effective treatment and preventive measures. Genomics facilitate the study of pathogen genome, leading to the understanding of their virulence, drug resistance and transmission pattern. In agricultural genomics, it helps in identifying the genetic variation in crop for improved yield disease resistance understanding and understanding the nutritional content. This genomics helps in the development of better crop varieties, contributing to the global food security and sustainable agriculture practices. In cancer genomics, it aids in identifying genetic mutations associated with specific type of cancer, leading to the development of targeted therapies. Genomics enables personalized treatment approaches, enhancing the patient outcome and providing insight into the genetic basis of various cancer. It also plays a significant role in comparative genomics, where it helps in understanding the evolutionary relationship between different species and identifying conserved genetic elements. Genomics provide insight into the mechanism of evolution, species adaptation, and the identification of genetic factors responsible for specific traits. If we see the pharmacogenomic sector, it facilitates the identification of genetic factors influencing drug responses, leading to the development of personalized medicine. Genomics enables the prediction of individuals' response to specific medication reducing the risk of adverse drug reaction and improving the treatment efficacy. In structural genomics, it aids in the determination of three-dimensional structures of protein and biomolecule, facilitating the drug design and understanding of protein function. Here, genomics provide insight into structure-function relationship of genes and protein, aiding in the identification of novel drug target and therapeutic intervention. And in metagenomics, it enables the study of genetic material recovered directly from the environmental sample, providing insight into microbial community. Here, genomics facilitates the understanding of microbial diversity and function in various ecosystems, contributing to ecological and environmental research. If we see the evolutionary genomics, here, bioinformatics and genomics aid in tracing the evolutionary histories and identifying genetic changes responsible for species adaptation and their diversity. It provides insight into genetic mechanism driving evolutionary processes, helping us to understand the genetic basis of adaptation and in the translation genomics, it facilitates the translation of genomic discovery into the clinical application, improving the disease diagnosis and treatment. 
Pure genomics enables the integration of genomic data into clinical practice, leading to the development of targeted therapies and precision medicine intervention. And lastly, in the forensic genomics, it aids in the identification of individuals based on their genetic information, contributing to the forensic investigation. Here, it facilitates the use of genomic data in forensic analysis, helping in the identification of suspects and determination of familiar relationship and resolution of criminal cases. So if you are interested in learning genomics or entering to the genomic based bio IT sector, then these are the skills I really need it. So number one is your understanding and familiarity with the programming language like Python, R, Perl. It is mostly required for the genomic data analysis and algorithm development. The another thing is knowledge about the statistical analysis and data visualization technique as you have to deal with the big genomic data. So it is good if you know R and you know the statistical analysis. The another thing is understanding of molecular biology and genetic principle as genomics is based on these pillars. The next one is your familiarity with the bioinformatics tools and databases such as gene card, NCBI BLAS, NCBI, or NZML, etc. Here, as you have to deal with the big data, so ability to work with large data sets and conduct high throughput data analysis will also be required. Along with that, critical thinking and problem solving skills for interpreting complex biological data are also needed. Additionally, strong communication skills to collaborate with interdisciplinary teams and very important, the knowledge of next generation sequencing technology, the NGS and the data analysis related to NGS will be required. Moreover, familiarity with the genomic data interpretation and genome annotation technique. And as you know, the bio IT industry is ever evolving industry. So adaptability to rapidly evolving technologies is required. So let me give you the preparation strategy and roadmap to enter the genomic industry. The number one thing is obtain a strong foundation in the biology, either genetics or computer science during your undergraduate. Pursue master or PhD in bioinformatics, computational biology, biotech or such related areas. It is also important to gain hands-on experience through internship or research projects in genomics and bioinformatics lab. We at Molexel Informatics provide such trainings and project opportunities. So if any one of you who are interested can approach us as well. You should also develop a proficiency in the relevant programming language and statistical analysis technique. Try to build a strong network by participating in national and international conferences, workshop either online or on-site and try to join the scientific community. Stay updated with the latest advancement in genomics and bioinformatics through scientific literature and online resources. Try to cultivate the problem-solving and analytic skills through practical projects and case studies. If required, approach mentorship from the professional in the field to gain industry insight and guidance. Consider opting for certification in bioinformatics, data analysis, programming to enhance your credential which is required. And try to explore opportunities for collaborated research or industrial partnership to gain practical experience. Let's try to see some of the high salary career prospects specifically in the genomic sector. You can either become the bioinformatics scientist, computational biologist, genomic data scientist or bioinformatics analyst. You can also become a genomic researcher. If you are having interest in clinical sector, then you can become the clinical genomic specialist. You can also become a genomic data engineer or genomic data architect. You can also become a genomic project manager. And lastly, you can also become a genomics consultant. I hope you have liked this session. I would like you to join our YouTube and LinkedIn community to stay updated with the latest trends in the genomics and bioinformatics. If you are having any queries, let us know your questions in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.